Welcome to Minivan Life in the Northwest Territories. Good morning. So it was minus 37 degrees Celsius out last night and uh, I survived comfortably in here. I kept the diesel heater around uh, 3.2 hertz. That's a little more than half power. But uh, I was just having one problem with the filter. The air filter on it was frosting over. So I just laid down. I was getting ready to go to sleep and I noticed it started getting really smoky in here. And the temperature on the diesel heater started to drop too. It was almost putting out cold air. So I went outside and took a look. It was just putting out this great big cloud of smoke. So I looked up under at the air intake and it was frosted right over. So I brought it inside, scraped it off and put it back on. Half an hour later it was frosted over again. So I, uh, I gave it a good coat of this stuff. Hopefully that'll help it to resist the frost. But I looked inside at the tubing too and it was starting to get frosty too. So hopefully it doesn't clog itself up. But it's about minus 37 out right now. So this is all new grounds for me. So I'm learning as I go. But uh, when it was smoky in here, I got a reading on my carbon monoxide detector too, 48 parts per million. So I think what I'm going to do is order two stainless steel pipes, uh, 120 centimeters long, then uh, wrap a wire around them so that they're both contacting each other, maybe even wrap it in some kind of heat insulating tape. And that way the heat from the exhaust pipe will warm up the intake tube, and that should prevent the frost from forming, and maybe even warm up the incoming air, and uh, that should help the diesel heater run more efficiently. They're originally forecasting tonight to be minus 40, but now they're saying it's only going to be uh, minus 35, so what? <laughs> I, think, uh, I think I'm actually going to head south now. I'm going to head into town and uh, load up on groceries and gas, then hit the road. And after two weeks of waiting, I finally got to see the whole reason why I came up here. up some breakfast burritos this morning I got some sausage and uh, shredded cheese with extra sawdust in it it's good stuff mushrooms salsa onion I was gonna do it on the induction but I've gone through uh, about 64 amp hour on the battery I should have another 16 amp hour left but I'm not too sure so I'm just gonna play it safe and use the gas stove this morning maybe after I have breakfast uh, I'll test out the battery and see how much uh, more capacity I can get out of it All right, I got all my ingredients ready. I'm gonna scramble it all up now with some polar eggs. These are fresh from uh, the Arctic Circle where those polar chickens are out roaming around. I got lots of leftovers for lunch and I'm gonna save the rest of that sausage for dinner. I got plans for that. But you can see I've gone through about 68 amp hour on the battery now, but I forgot to mention that this one only factors in the, the diesel heater and the inverter. This one keeps track of the lighting and the fans and everything else. And I've gone through 12 amp hour up there, so that's basically my uh, 80 amp hour of 100 used up. And that's right where my uh, voltage should be, so it's good to know my battery's still healthy after all the cold that it's been through. But I'm going to start driving now and charging it back up. Well, 
Although I haven't decided where I'm headed yet, all I can say is south. I did think about going further north all the way up to Inuvik and the Arctic Ocean, but uh, I decided that now just isn't a very good time with the lack of daylight. I think if I did it right now, I'd drive up there, then just turn around and come back. It would be epic, but uh, not very practical. There's just a ton of hiking I want to do up in Yukon, so if I'm going to make the drive up there, it's going to be during the spring or the summer. But tonight I'm going to repeat an old recipe, I'm going to have some frying pan pizza. Well I got lots of good ideas what to do about the frost on the inside of the rear window, but the solution I decided to go with was uh, actually do nothing at all about it. It's not doing any harm there, so I just don't run the defroster anymore. Maybe once I get into a city I can uh, find a heated parking garage, just let the van totally thaw out for a few hours. Next I'm going to fry up my onions and mushrooms and sausage. Once that's cooked, it's going to join my green olives and tomatoes on my nan bread shells. Well, that's all I have to share for now so thanks for watching and uh, I gotta figure out where I'm gonna go next so I'll see you there in the next video. And congratulations to Victor Sandoval you are the lucky winner of the Yellowknife prize pack.